my vibe has always been, yo, you know what? I've been through so much in my personal life. In the early 2000s, a tangled web of love, deceit, and betrayal ensnared three of hip hop's biggest stars, Nelly, Ashanti, and Miss Jackson a.k.a. Irv Gotti's wife. As Nelly and Ashanti's sultry collaboration sparked rumors of a secret romance, Miss Jackson's marriage to Irv Gotti began to fray, threatening to destroy the very fabric of their relationship. But was Nelly's heart truly invested in Ashanti? Or was it all just a cleverly crafted publicity stunt to fuel their rising careers? As the drama unfolded, one thing became clear. Only one woman could claim Nelly's heart. But at what cost? Cornell I. Raul Haynes Jr., better known as Nelly, was born on November 2nd, 1974 in Austin, Texas. Growing up in St. Louis, Missouri, Nelly developed a passion for hip hop, which would eventually lead him to become one of the most successful rappers of the early 2000s. Nelly's music career began in 1993, when he formed the rap group St. Lunatics, with friends Kaiwan, Murphy Lee, and City Spud. The group released their debut album, Who's the Boss, in 1996, but it failed to gain appreciable popularity. Undeterred, Nelly continued to hone his craft, eventually signing with Universal Records in 1999. Nelly's big break came with the release of his debut solo album, Country Grammar, in 2000. The album was a massive success, selling over 10 million copies and spawning hits like Ride With Me and E.I. Nelly's unique blend of hip hop, pop, and country styles, along with his catchy hooks and storytelling ability, made him a rising star in the music industry. Nelly's early success paved the way for other St. Louis rappers to break into the mainstream. His influence can be seen in artists like Chingy and Murphy Lee, who also achieved success in the early 2000s. Named after the Ashanti Empire in Ghana, Ashanti is an American singer and actress who achieved her big break in 2002 after releasing her eponymous album. Ashanti's lead single, Foolish, shot straight to the top of the Billboard Hot 100 chart, making her a household name overnight. But that wasn't all. She became only the second artist in history, after the legendary Beatles, to have her first three songs all crack the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 at the same time. And if that wasn't enough, Ashanti also lent her writing skills and vocals to Jennifer Lopez's Ain't It Funny Murder remix, which also soared to number one on the chart. Talk about a dream start to a music career. The sparks flew when Ashanti and Nelly first met at the 2003 Grammy Award nomination announcements but not exactly in the way you think. Ashanti revealed on VH1's Behind the Music that Nelly's first move was to ask her for her autograph, but with a cheeky twist. I think he was being sarcastic, Ashanti laughed, but I played along and signed the program anyway. Little did they know that that lighthearted moment would be misinterpreted by the media and become a lasting image of their relationship. Ashanti set the record straight. For the record, it took him a long time to get my number, so I guess you could say he was interested. Their playful banter and undeniable chemistry were just the beginning of a beautiful musical partnership and a whole lot of speculation about their relationship status. Just like many of their fellow celebrities, Nelly and Ashanti preferred to keep their love life under wraps and out of the spotlight. They didn't want to fuel the gossip mill or have their relationship scrutinized by the public eye. Instead, they chose to maintain a sense of privacy and mystery surrounding their romance, leaving fans and media to wonder and speculate about the nature of their relationship. Nelly and Ashanti kept their romance largely under wraps, but they couldn't resist giving us a little hint of what was going on behind closed doors. Interesting enough, they did make a rare public appearance together at Tao's sixth anniversary bash in New York on November 17, 2006. The party, hosted by none other than Nick Cannon, brought out the elusive pair's joint appearance, only added to the excitement. Also, Ashanti dropped a hint about her relationship with Nelly in 2008, leaving us all wondering if they were more than just friends. After belting out the national anthem at a Los Angeles Lakers game, she spilled the beans to people, saying, Nelly and I are super close. We hang out all the time. We're just having fun and enjoying each other's company, she added. Yeah, right, Ashanti. We've seen this game before, and we know exactly what's going on. What seemed to convince many was the steamy music video for Nelly's 2009 Body On Me, where he raps a telling line, I want to make you someone more than just a bone in my closet. 
I want to win that type of relationship. It was a subtle nod to their blossoming connection, leaving fans believing it was indeed more than just a musical collaboration. Plus, their playful, flirtatious interactions on screen only added fuel to the fire. Hence, the speculations about the real-life relationship between these two music industry heavyweights. They were reportedly together on and off for a decade. There were also talks of a possible engagement in the future. However, their fairy tale ended in 2013, and Ashanti revealed that she felt betrayed by the rapper. Rumors spread that the Tip Drill rapper was unfaithful, although neither of them, nor any other source, confirmed this speculation. Things are beginning to heat up at this point. Just as the whispers about Nelly and Ashanti's relationship were reaching a fever pitch, another woman entered the picture, Chantel Jackson, who was reportedly linked to Nelly. As the situation unfolded, it became clear that Chantel was a significant part of Nelly's life and her connection to him would only add to the drama surrounding his relationship with Ashanti. Chantel Jackson, aka Miss Jackson, is an American model, actress, and entrepreneur. She was previously in a long-term relationship with rapper Nelly and has also been linked to other high-profile celebrities. With her stunning looks and charming personality, Chantel has built a reputation as a savvy businesswoman and a fixture on the Hollywood social scene. Chantel's love for fashion was matched only by her desire for comfort. This sparked an innovative idea, Shoe Gummy, a game-changing outer sole pad that's specifically designed to banish foot pain caused by high heels. As the mastermind behind this revolutionary product, Chantel has led her company to earn a reputation for trustworthiness and expertise making a real difference in the lives of fashionistas everywhere. Barely a year later, Nelly gave another shot at love with Chantel Jackson. Nelly and Chantel Jackson's whirlwind romance began in 2014, and by 2017, they were still going strong. Before this time, Chantel Jackson had previously been in a relationship with Floyd Mayweather, which ended on a pretty bad note. On the reality show The Platinum Life, Chantel couldn't help but gush about her beau, saying, Nelly's all about having fun, and I love that. She even shared her dreams of a fairy tale future with him, complete with a wedding, a ring, and a baby, in that order. Fast forward to 2020, when Nelly appeared on Dancing with the Stars, and it was clear their love was still sizzling. He sweetly praised Chantel, saying, I can't imagine my life without her. We've been together for five or six years, and every day just gets better. She's stunning inside and out, and I'm one lucky guy to have her by my side, he gushed. In 2020, after seven years of dating, Chantel called it quits with Nelly. Sometime in 2020, Chantel opened up about her split from Nelly on The Real, saying they're taking time apart to focus on themselves. She explained that things started to fall apart when she stopped touring with him, and they grew apart. We used to be inseparable, traveling together for concerts and work. But when I started building my own brand and company, Shoe Gummy, I was home more often. Nelly was still on the road and we just started to drift. We were like, what are we even doing? What's next? So we decided to take a step back and see if some time apart will bring us back together stronger. When asked if this means they're breaking up for good, Chantel said, yeah, you could say that. We're taking a break, but I think it's essential to do this and figure some things out. Well, their relationship didn't survive the break. The plot thickened when Chantel Jackson spilled all the tea about Nelly's ridiculously messy relationships with her and Ashanti. Apparently, Nelly was juggling both women at the same time, and it was a total disaster waiting to happen. What's so ironic on the side was that in May 2014, when Chantel was Instagramming photos of her and her new boo Nelly, she was getting chummy with Ashanti, not like they were aware of the events that would later unfold. Recently, Chantel described their relationship as toxic, dramatic, and utterly chaotic, with lots of crying, screaming, and cheating going on. She said Nelly would be with her one day and Ashanti the next, playing them both like a game, and when they found out, it would lead to huge fights and blowouts that would leave everyone shaken. The drama was intense, with Ashanti even throwing a drink in Nelly's face once, and him pushing her so hard, she almost fell down the stairs. Can you imagine? The constant cheating and fighting took a toll on everyone involved and no one trusted each other. It was a total mess, a never-ending cycle of hurt and betrayal. 
Eventually, Nellie and Ashanti called it quits, and Chantel realized she was tired of being part of Nellie's love triangle. She's finally speaking out about the chaos she endured, and honestly, it's a wonder she made it out unscathed. Judging by celebrities and their preference for keeping things very private, could this be what she was truly battling? The Nelly love triangle? Despite their past heartache, things took yet another turn as rumors began to swirl in the entertainment circles, hinting at a possible rekindling of the flame between Nelly and Ashanti. Well, they didn't have to wait too long because 2021 finally brought what seemed to be a beacon of hope. When Ashanti and Nelly shared the stage with Ja Rule and Fat Joe for their epic versus battle, it was like the whole internet went wild. It was the first time they'd been seen together in public since their breakup, and the sparks were flying. The moment that really got everyone talking was when Nelly walked over to Ashanti and gave her a big hug. Fans were dying to know what was going on between them, especially when the cameras stopped rolling. Also, the duo had been attending various events together, hence rumors and memes started flying. Things are heating up between Nelly and Ashanti. Sources close to the couple are spilling the tea, saying they're loving every moment together. They're back on and couldn't be happier, one insider dished to ET. Another source chimed in, they're really savoring their time together. It's like they're basking in the glow of their rekindled romance. It sounds like these two were meant to be after all. Ashanti finally spilled the beans on April 17, 2024, with an adorable Instagram video announcing she's having a baby with Nelly. In the clip, her friends are getting her ready for an event, and when they ask how long she needs to get ready, she drops the bombshell. I'ma need about nine months, holding up a positive pregnancy test. She captioned it with a string of excited emojis. But that wasn't the only surprise. Later that day, Ashanti revealed to Essence that she and Nelly are also engaged, calling him her fiance. In an exclusive chat with ET, Ashanti gushed about Nelly's reaction to the pregnancy news. I was so shocked, happy, and emotional. I always dreamed of this, and the timing is perfect. But here's the juiciest part. Records show that Ashanti and Nelly actually tied the knot in secret six months before announcing their engagement. They got married on December 27, 2023 in Nellie's hometown of St. Louis, Missouri. Who knew? In addition, the tide turned again a bit, just around when Ashanti announced that she was going to have a baby with Nellie. Chantel Jackson, AKA Miss Jackson, recently went live on Instagram and got real about her 2021 split from rapper Nellie, finally sharing her side of the story about what went down in their seven-year relationship. We don't mean to judge, but it seems to look like it. Some people are wondering why she's speaking up now, especially since Nellie supposedly moved on and is having a baby with Ashanti. But for Chantel, it's about setting the record straight and shutting down any fake narratives that have been circulating. She wants to give her fans the real tea and clear up any misconceptions about their breakup. Even though Chantel Jackson said there wasn't any juicy reason for her and Nellie breakup, people on social media were still skeptical about why she's bringing it up now, especially since Nelly's already moved on and is married to Ashanti. One commenter called her out saying, this is so extra. Did she at least congratulate Nelly on his new relationship? Because this just seems desperate and attention seeking. Ugh. To be fair, it appears to be corny. Do you think it's a cheap shot coming from Miss Jackson? The complicated love triangle of Nellie, Ashanti, and Miss Jackson serves as a cautionary tale about the blurred lines between love, loyalty, and lust. As they continue to navigate their tangled web of emotions, it's clear that the truth is often distorted by hurt feelings and unmet expectations. Nellie's inability to commit, Ashanti's desire for closure, and Miss Jackson's need for validation have created a toxic cycle of drama and heartache, thereby leaving both women to pick up the pieces of their shattered hearts. Ultimately, this complicated love triangle reveals that the consequences of playing with people's emotions can be devastating, and that true love and respect requires honesty, transparency, and commitment. As the dust settled, it was clear that Nellie and Ashanti had emerged from their tumultuous experience with scars, wisdom, and things turned out pretty well. But one thing still lingers. Could the same be said about Miss Jackson?